everybody! I'm here today to show you how to stop cutting corners and turning too wide. In this simple driving lesson, I'll be going over some basic tips and steps that will help you if your turns are too wide or too narrow. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. I'm gonna explain the, the, the sort of steps and tips. So some of these are steps and some of these are tips, and then I'll sort of demonstrate while I drive around the neighborhood. Number one is start in the middle. So here's the thing, if you start too close to the curb, you're more likely to cut a corner. If you start too close to the, uh, away from the curb, okay? So too close to the oncoming lane of traffic, you're more likely to take a turn too wide. As I wait to make this right turn, I'm starting in the center of where I'm supposed to drive. Now this is a side street, so it doesn't have lane lines. So I'm starting in the center of where I'm supposed to drive. When I turn the wheel, it's less likely that I'll make a turn that's too sharp or too wide, okay? Number two is, and I'm sorry about the poor lighting, but you know, the way the sun is, you're gonna catch me sometimes and you're not gonna catch me other times, okay? But it is what it is. Let's just, just listen to my voice and watch what I do, kind of. Number two is steer the right amount. What I suggest you do, go to an empty parking lot, practice making 100 right turns and 100 left turns. If you do that, you're gonna know exactly how much you have to steer. Now you see, when I drive, and when most experienced drivers drive their vehicles, they don't figure out how much they have to steer, they just know, simply because they've been steered for so long. And the reason that they know how much to turn the wheel is because of practice. So as I make a turn up ahead, I know exactly how much to steer, just because I've practiced so often. So by steering the right amount, you're actually gonna help yourself make the smoothest turn that isn't too wide and that isn't too sharp. So you can see I didn't even pay attention. I knew exactly how much I had to steer, okay? Number three is look ahead in the turn. Now I don't mean look to the side. I don't mean do this, no. But if I'm turning right, I'm looking at a 45 degree angle towards the right. If I'm turning left, I'm looking at a 45 degree angle towards the left. Use your pillars on your windshield as a guideline. So I'm turning right, Obviously, I'm doing my safety checks. I'm scanning the intersection. Now, as I make the turn, I'm looking at a 45 towards the right, and I straighten out like that. So what you want to do is start by looking in the direction of the turn, towards the direction of the turn, not directly in the direction, but towards it, and then straighten your head out as your, or your neck, I should say, as you're, you're making the turn, okay? Number four is plan where you're going to end. So you want to plan where you're going to end when you're driving, when you're making that turn. Are you ending in the right lane, in the left lane, if it's a dual carriageway, okay? If it's a two lane road, basically. You know, are you ending in the middle of the lane? Are you ending towards the side? So right now I would end in the middle of this lane, right? But if there was a parked car over here, I would have to end a little bit more towards the center. So you have to plan where you're gonna end. It's gonna make it easier for you to make those turns appropriately and to stop cutting those corners and taking turns too widely, okay? Number five, I kinda already said this, but I'm gonna say it again, practice in a parking lot. I'll tell you what, my dad, my parents both taught me how to drive, but my dad was the one who first took me on my first driving lesson. And then they both shared the experience. Um, yeah, that's it, it was a great experience. But my dad, the first thing that he did was took me, took me to a parking lot and he said, Mike, I want you to make 50 right-hand turns. I said, why, this is so boring. So, And you know what? My dad's a fantastic driver, my mom is too, but the reason that he got so good is because he practiced so much. So what I learned from that first driving experience was, if you practice, especially in an empty parking lot where you have the freedom to do basically whatever you want, a parking lot without any light posts and, and any obstructions, you know, you're gonna get good. It's inevitable. If you do 50 right turns and 50 left turns, you're gonna get better. Go, you're gonna run, let's, uh, what are you doing? This person basically was gonna run the stop sign, saw me there, slammed on her brakes. Like, you, know, you think you're doing me a favor? Like, hurry up, you know, anyways. Stop at stop signs. That's your moral lesson of this this story. What I think I'm gonna do on a side note, sorry about that, a little tangent here, is I'm gonna mount a camera as I drive to and from work, and I'm gonna just show what you shouldn't do based on other drivers' actions. So sorry about the poor lighting once again. Tell me, if you want that to happen, let me know. Okay, last but not least is number six, which is practice on empty streets, which goes hand in hand with number five, but I recommend that you practice in a parking lot first, that as you get better, you practice on streets because you can be amazing at steering in a parking lot, but on streets, you're gonna have different variables. The, the curves might be the same as in the parking lot, but essentially the, the curb is there, other traffic is there, parked cars are there. There we go, that's better lighting. 
basically there's a whole bunch of other variables that are going to be there so once you're done practicing in a parking lot uh, in a parking lot then practice on the street sorry i just had my tuna sandwich for lunch i got lots of gas going on here i apologize but that's it that is how to stop cutting corners and turning too wide a simple driving lesson if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching